Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardi Security. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be focusing on the GR again and an audio upgrade. So sit back and hopefully you'll enjoy this episode. We've already tackled the security upgrades on the GR. We've added a Thinkware front and rear dash cam and a smart track tracking system. There's a link on the screen now. You can watch that after this episode and there'll be a link in the description below. An audio upgrade on a Toyota GR Yaris. Why? Well, there are guys that obviously track the GR Yaris's. It is a track toy. And then there are guys who just use it as a weekend B-Road blaster. It could be the car that they're using as their daily. The audio in here is average at best, but lacks any bass, depth, and top end in terms of treble clarity, there is none. It's all about mid-end sound. So the stereo, uh, pretty good touchscreen stereo, CarPlay, Bluetooth, DAB, that works well. We're not going to touch that. Um, we're going to tackle this audio in two stages. Today's stage is about upgrading the speakers. So we're gonna use the stock locations in the door cards, uh, on the pillar and in the rear, change those speakers. And stage two will be adding a subwoofer. So that won't be featured in today's episode. We'll drop another episode. Uh, make sure you come back for that uh, with the subwoofer. So let's, let's tackle the speakers first. Right guys, let's give you a little demo. And obviously this may not come across so well on the device you're listening to, but I've done 2000 miles in this car. I've had it for six months. I know what it sounds like. And I'm just gonna give you an idea of what I feel when I'm listening to music here. Okay, that's not so bad, but as I said earlier, top end clarity isn't there. Uh, it's all about mid end, mid bass. Uh, there is some low down grunt, but it's not really quality grunt. So what we're going to do is replace the stock speakers in the door, in the pillars and the rear speakers. These are your standard GR Yaris front component speakers. Uh, paper cone, plastic molding, very thin and a very thin tweeter. In terms of weight, very light. 200 grams, a mere 200 grams. So that's 400 grams left and right door. Now this is what we are replacing the fronts with. These are your power base OE65Cs. You can just see from the mid base speaker, a lot chunkier, bigger magnet, and a better quality tweeter. These weigh 900 grams. So there's a 700 gram increase per door, 1.4 kilograms. So that's your front doors. Now the backs, we've got these six and a half inch coaxial speakers, very flimsily made. 200 grams again, and we are replacing them with the OE652s. Again, chunkier, tweeter built in onto the actual speaker as well. Two-way, nice, massive magnet. And these weigh 800 grams. There's a 600 gram increase on each side of the GI Yaris in the back. So we're looking at 1200 grams additional in the back, 1400 grams additional on the front, less than three kilograms. It's not a lot of additional weight. So that's enough of me waffling on. I'm gonna bring in Carl. Carl's gonna do the installation in our GR. He'll show you how the door cards are removed and how the back panels are removed, go through the installation process. And I'll be back at the end of this video to listen to the car and talk about stages two and onwards. See you in a bit. Okay, so this is the range of Toyota OE Fit speakers that we've got here. Um, the reason why they're called OE Fit is they're a direct uh, plug and play replacement. There's no holes to be drilled, no cables to be cut or adapters needed, um, which means these are completely reversible as well with no lasting effects. You can put the original speakers back in when you pass the car on. Um, today, we're going to just walk you through the install on the front doors initially and then the rears. On the front doors here, we're gonna be using the six and a half inch components. Right, so we're just gonna walk you through removing the door card and prepping it to uh, put the new driver in the door. So initially on this Yaris, we just pop out the switch panel, which is nice and easy to remove. Just a couple of plugs on the back. 
once we've removed that, there's one Phillips screw that's easily accessible. So once that screws out, we're gonna take this large trim panel off, which is just clipped in situ. And then we just lift the door card up, put it forward. The last job now is to remove the um, cables for the door latch and lock. Once you've got the door card off and you've gone to the effort of getting to the speaker, we'd often put some extra sound deadening on the vehicle. Um, there's two reasons why we're not going to on this uh, Yaris GR. Is one, weight. Um, it's a track toy and uh, I'm under strict instruction not to overload it with unnecessary weight. But secondly, you can see this door card is actually quite well sealed. Often when you take a door card off, uh, this plastic cover wouldn't be there, so it, tra it makes the air travel too much and then you lose a lot of the sound. Whereas this is pretty well um, insulated and isolated, so we're just going to continue with taking out the driver. And there we go. As you see um, on the back of this speaker, the magnet's about the size of a watch battery, or maybe not much bigger. A very, very flimsy casing. You know, if I were to push that magnet reasonably hard, we're just going to break these uh, spider legs off and the speaker would be rendered useless. Very, very, very flimsy paper cone. So on first glance they might not look necessarily too different um, from the original fit to the uh, replacement but uh, when you turn it around I think you start to see the difference in uh, magnet size and the strength of the basket here as well and as you see with this one it's a very very flimsy paper cone um, that's going to distort with any fast movement. Uh, these ones are a much thicker plastic cone that will be much more resilient. So we're just going to Plug the cable in here. This particular car needs a little adapter cable uh, just to change the OEM plug to the more commonly used Toyota OEM plug. Then we're going to line up the speaker in the original positions. So we're going to put the door card back on now, which uh, stating the obvious is just the opposite of removal. Okay, then last we're just gonna put the switch pan pack back in, two plugs can't get them wrong, they're a different size and orientation. One, two, line it back in place and just clip onto the door card like so. That's the door card back together, onto the tweeter. Okay, so I've already loosened this trim. Uh, it can be a little bit more tricky to get off because of the curtain airbags on this vehicle. So there's a clip at the top and in the middle. Once you've pulled that forward, at that point you just rock and pull the pillar towards you and it will come free of the vehicle. So the next step is to identify uh, what type of tweeter plug and harness this one, this Toyota has, uh, which we've done. There are a couple in the box. Um, so that is the adapter we're going to need. Next, it's remove the original tweeter from its housing, which has three lugs holding it in. So we just press each lug one at a time till we can remove the original tweeter which we're now going to replace with the OE fit aftermarket tweeter pull the rubber seal back line the clip up one two that's the trim back in tweeter installed Okay, now the driver's side's done, we're onto the passenger side. We'll just run through the uh, removal and refit again on this side.
Now for the rear speakers, we need to gain access to the rear quarter panels. So first of all, remove the bench seat. Hands on the bottom, short, hard tug up. Release the clip. Same on the other side. Okay, so installation now of the replacement speaker. These are coaxial but have the tweeter, tweeter built in, whereas the original was just a single cone speaker. So again, the speaker adapter cable pops in. So the car's now all back together. We've got the components, so the mids and tweeters in the front have been swapped out, and the coaxial speakers in the rear have been swapped out too. Car's completely back together, and it'll be over to Raj now for his reaction. Right guys, installation is done. Thank you very much, Carl. Fantastic job. Door cards are back on, rear panels are back on. I think it's time I did another sound test. I will play the same track that I previously played and as I said to you earlier I know this car I know the sound of this car put 2,000 miles in it I know how poor the music quality was prior so let's get into this wow that's good wow just changing the four speakers and the tweeters. What a difference, what an improvement. So just to give you an idea, I've got treble now, whereas previously I had zero treble. There was no top range, it was like it was capped. And also mid range and that, that lower depth. I've actually got some bass, whereas before it wasn't bass, it was distortion. Dare I say it, most people will be happy with just a speaker upgrade. Some of you will probably think, you know what, I don't need a subwoofer this will tick the box for a lot of you. That's the audio episode complete. Stage one. Now, before we get into stage two, let me talk about a couple of things in stage one that we have not done, which you could consider. Dynamat, we've not added any Dynamat. We always recommend you add some Dynamat to inside the doors and to the panels to reduce that rattling and that shake that you get, the resonance. Now, we're conscious of adding weight into our GR as most GR owners would be. So we've not added any dynamite, but you could do. Secondly, amplifier. Now we would always recommend adding an amplifier just to lift the quality of the sound and to reduce distortion. The amplifier in this car is underneath the driver's seat. The problem with the amplifier in this particular car, it pipes in that sound that you hear through the speakers and also helps with noise canceling. So it's not an easy task just changing the amplifier. Now stage two, we will change the amplifier and we will add a subwoofer. I'm not really looking to track the car every weekend. For me, it's about using the car and enjoying the music. Um, so that's stage two. However, beyond stage two, we are also changing the air intake. We've got an Eventuri air intake to add to this vehicle and we're going to change the exhaust. So we're not overly concerned about that piped in sound. In fact, I actually don't like it but I need it there just to sort of help with the enjoyment factor of the car. Now the links to the power base speakers, the components in the front and the coaxials in the back are in the description below. Cost wise, just to give you a rough idea of cost, 
to replace the front and rear speakers, that can be done for less than 300 pounds. Yes, you heard me right, less than 300 pounds. And look at the smile on my face. I've only sat in there for two minutes. So um, labor's obviously not included. We can install the equipment for you. If you're a DIY guy and you're pretty good with taking door panels apart, go for it. If you're not, we would suggest you speak to a specialist because obviously you'll be left with maybe damaged door cards and clips that are broken and screws that you don't know where they go. So it's maybe best to leave it to a specialist. Um, I will be back for stage two. If you like what you've seen here, you know what to do. Hit that like button, uh, share and subscribe to the channel. It allows us to continue bringing you some awesome content and uh, I'll be back very soon.